Hey everybody, it's Emmy. I don't know how to film videos anymore. I'm gonna say that in every single video I do, like my once yearly video. But yeah, it's me. I'm back for right now, at least I'm back. And I like to just like have a little rant about certain things because it's, I don't have a time limit on a YouTube video, whereas I do on like an Instagram post. So that's my thought process. I'm gonna get very made fun of, but that's okay. It's nothing I'm not used to. So let's just get right into it. So basically, I just wanna talk about the discrimination that young women like myself still face to this day for just making their own choices in their body. Like, if you do anything wrong, you get called a slut. Not even by men, by other women people who should be supporting you because women are meant to support other women but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore if you don't shave your body hair that's naturally there that everybody has whether you say you don't or not you do you grow it and you shave it or you wax it some people choose not to do that some people choose to keep the hair on their body for, for many different reasons but they have the right to make that choice and the fact that young women like myself are getting shamed for that while men can look like cavemen, no offence, and not get any hate for it or even be called hot and attractive seems really ridiculous. Because what's different about a woman than a man? Why do we have to continuously separate the two? Because the only difference is genitalia. And that's also if you're cis and not trans. It is cis women that is getting shamed for this. That's what I should have specified at the beginning. Cis women are getting changed, shamed for this. They can't have hair on their body except for their head and their eyebrows because it's considered not feminine. They can't have hair on their body because of their genitals. Like, I've been called a slut on multiple occasions solely based off the fact that I have body hair. I'm going to admit the reason that I don't shave, okay? I originally decided to not shave because I didn't want to. I was too nervous to, you know. I have I have no one who can teach me to shave, you know. And I didn't want to. And I went to go get waxed. And honestly, it, it hurt. It hurt. And obviously it would hurt. And I don't, I don't have a high pain tolerance unless it's getting punched in the head because I have a very hard head. And I'm not going to put myself through pain unnecessarily just to please others because I don't like my body hair. But given what everyone has said, it's given me more reason to show that it's not wrong to have hair just because you're a cis woman. I don't even know why a topic like this needs to be discussed when we're in 2022. But here we are. We're nearing the end of 2022. And stuff like this still needs to be discussed because people just don't get it. And I've had more women shame me for my body hair than I have men. Like, one of the reasons I was bashed up and sent to hospital was based on the fact that I had body hair. Like, are we not understanding that it's my body and it's their body? If you want to shave, if you want to wax, go ahead. Do that as you may. No one's stopping you. So don't stop us. Yes, I'm going to get waxed or shaved occasionally. But I shouldn't have to do that, is my point. I might start using hair removal cream because I don't like my body hair. But it's the fact that I have practically been forced into making that decision. And that is the reason why I'm not doing that right now. I don't want to indulge them and let them have that choice on my body. I wanted to make that decision for myself and I didn't get to make that decision for myself. The reason I got waxed in the first place was because I was moving to a new school and I was sick of people judging me, but it didn't end. Because even though I had no hair, under my arms or on my legs anymore 
they're still worried about the hair I have on my genitalia. As if that's any of their business. Straight cis women are shaming other cis women for having hair. Men? <laughs> We're used to men shaming us. We're used to men treating us as not equal. But to hear it from other women hurts 10 times more because they're meant to be supporting you. They're meant to be there for you. They're meant to support your decisions. And they don't do that. Why? Because for some reason, the hair that you have on your body matters to them. You can sit here and deny that you don't grow body hair, but you can't. That argument will never be true because as far as I know, everybody in this world grows body hair. You just choose to shave it or you don't. Most men don't shave and that's fine. Most women do shave and that's fine. Why should we have to discriminate people for their life choices? Why are we continuously shaming people for their life choices? Why? Why, in this day and age, are women treating other women how men have been treating us? This world is so male-dominated that other women have started shaming other women. Cis women. Cis women have started shaming other cis women because of something yet again determined by men. Men, you know, men have body hair. So do women. Most men don't shave. Most women do shave. And for some reason, that gives people the right to shame other people. If you have a problem with me posting my body hair, then go look in the mirror. Because when you don't shave or get waxed for six weeks, you also look like a gorilla. If I look like a gorilla, you look like a gorilla. But your problem is that you're going to shame me for choosing to keep that hair. Whereas you're going to shave yours off and pretend you never had it and shame other women for having it. Because it's not feminine. Get a life. Get a life. You have that hair too. I'm not stopping you. In no way am I judging you for shaving your hair. You do you. I don't care. But if you're going to shame me for not shaving the hair on my body, the body that I live in, then you should realise that the only person who is insecure is you. If this offends you, then who even are you? This tiny amount of hair, this offends you. This gives you the grounds to call people names. This gives you the grounds to punch people in the head more than 10 times. It gives you the grounds to do that because that offends you. I'm over it. Let us live. Let us make our choices. And stop pushing your insecurities onto us.